In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the lesser known tips and tricks to maximize your user experience with Perfect Photo Suite 7. One of my favorite things about Perfect Photo Suite 7 is that it remembers your settings. So for instance, if you're a fan of viewing in a two column or a three column or a list view, Perfect Photo Suite will remember that state throughout sessions. So if you quit out and come back, you'll have the same exact user interface as you last left it. The same principle applies to the left file browser column as well. Now we know that the most important part of this user interface is your image. To that end, if you want to only have your image showing and hide all other controls, just press the tab key. This will automatically hide the left and right columns. To bring them back, just press the tab key again. You can also hide the left and right columns independently of each other. To do so, press Command on a Mac or Control on a PC, plus the left arrow. To return it, press Command or Control left arrow again. For the right column, press Command or Control right arrow. And then to return it, press Control or Command right arrow. Perfect Photo Suite can also take over the entire user desktop. If you don't want to have any menus distracting you, just go to the Window menu and then select Full Screen. To return back to your normal view, drag to the very top, click on Window, and deselect Full Screen. Whenever you use a brush tool, like the masking brush for instance, there are two very common keyboard shortcuts that get overlooked. The first controls the brush size, and the second controls the brush feather. When controlling the brush size, to make the brush larger, press the right bracket key. To make it smaller, press the left bracket key. To adjust the feather, or the transition from the soft edge to the hard edge, press shift and left bracket key to decrease the feather, and then shift right key to increase the feather. On top of that, if you go to the help menu item and then select keyboard shortcuts, you'll have a window of every single keyboard shortcut in Perfect Photo Suite. As you start working with tools in the tool well, you'll see their attributes listed along the top here in the tool options bar. Variables like the size and the feather can be controlled several ways. The two most common ways is by selecting a value and typing it in, or dropping down and adjusting the slider. However, there's another way to adjust this value. If you hover over the unit, you can drag left and right and scrubby to increase or decrease. Another tool that gets overlooked is the ability to adjust the canvas size. Let's say I want to take this image and I want to increase the canvas to put a background on. To do that, all I need to do is go to the edit menu and then select adjust canvas size. Here, I'm going to increase my canvas to an even 6,000 pixels. Now because I have the lock proportions checkbox selected, you see how Perfect Photo Suite automatically adjusted for the correct height. I'll click apply, and now you can see that my canvas has been stretched out. Now I'm going to use the extras tab to go to the backgrounds category and select a basic gradient. To add it, I'll just double click it and then click on add to apply it on its own layer. Now you can see that this background doesn't fit the canvas. In order for it to fit, you're going to have to use the transform tool from the tool well. Most people will just start dragging to get it to fit. However, there's a really easy way to automatically fill this layer. If you look on the top right of the tool options bar, there's a button called fill. If I click it, Perfect Photo Suite will automatically stretch that image to fill the layer. When I'm done, I'll click apply to commit that transform, and then drag the background layer below. Now, let's say I want to apply a frame around this image. I can go to the borders category, and then I'll go to the emulsions, and select the first one. Just like before, I'll add it on its own layer. And you can see how this frame also doesn't fit. However, if I want to stretch it so that the proportions are retained, all I need to do is put my cursor in the corner bumper, press and hold the shift key, and then drag. You can see how I'm retaining those proportions, so I'm not going to skew the border. And like before, I'm going to click Apply to commit that transform. In Perfect Photo Suite 6, we had a feature that allowed you to get a pop-up preview when you hover over a thumbnail. In Perfect Photo Suite 7, that feature is there, but it's off by default. If you want to turn it back on, go to the View menu and select Show Browser Pop-up. Now, if you hover over a thumbnail, you'll get a larger preview of what that image looks like. To turn it off, 
go to the view menu and deselect show browser pop-up. Perfect Photo Suite 7 comes with an amazing assortment of extra material right out of the box. But if you want to get more, by going to the file menu, you can visit the On1 Marketplace. From here, you can find a wide variety of backgrounds and textures, templates for albums, presets for perfect black and white and perfect effects, and more. And best of all, anything that you purchase from the On1 Marketplace can be imported into Perfect Photo Suite with just a single click. A question that we get asked a lot is, how can I transfer my license from one copy of Perfect Photo Suite 7 to another? Let's say you want to wipe your computer or you want to buy a new computer and install the software. To do so, go to the Help menu and then select Deactivate. This will allow you to deactivate your license and reuse it on another instance. I hope you learned a lot from this video and be sure to check back to the On1 University often as we're going to constantly add new videos with tips and tricks. Thank you very much.